Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting brilliant questions. This video is for our subscriber Daniel who has posted these two questions on my email and I hope their solution will help many others. Now that was on my request that we are actually working day and night to help you out. So the special thing here is that during this tough time when the virus is taking over and you are unable to attend your schools, we are here to provide you with complete services. I have a very vibrant WhatsApp group which you can join. The link for the WhatsApp group is shown here. Many of our subscribers from YouTube channel have joined the group to solve your questions since I am at present unable to cater to the huge requirement. I am trying to do my best. Every day at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. I will be posting a video which will be at least half an hour long to cover up topics and the questions which I have received during the day. I hope that will help you a bit. In this video, as you had seen earlier, we are going to solve two questions. Both are kind of uh, related since they are tough questions. Question number one is a modified quadratic equation and question number two is based on logarithms. Let us see how to solve such questions. Well, in future, I would like students to also let me know what exactly they are doing. The format of the question suggests that this kind of question could be for IGCSE. But if I know exactly what you're trying to pursue, then I can explain the things in that context also that will be beneficial to you more than a general video. So here is the solution of these questions. So let's take up the quadratic equation, which is solve the equation 2t equals to 9 plus 5 over t, then solve the other equation, right? They are exactly similar except for one variation. And let's start with that variation so that we know what do we need. Well, if I substitute t as equal to x to the power of half, then both are same. So that is kind of relation between the two. Perfect. So this is what we are trying to figure out. So if I find the value of t in the first part, I am able to solve the second part of the equation. So let's begin with the first part, which is 2t equals to 9 plus 5 over t. Now definitely, the value of t should not be equal to 0. So when you try to solve an equation, look into the domain in which the answer should lie. We'll now multiply by t, so we get 2t square equals to 9t plus 5. Now that is the quadratic equation we were talking about. Perfect. So that's the quadratic equation. So it becomes simpler now. We can bring all the terms to one side, keeping the coefficient of t square positive. That is important. In standard form of quadratic equation, always this coefficient is positive. Now, we need to factor. We are looking for product of two numbers, P and Q. The product should be equal to 2 times minus 5, which is minus 10. And the sum of these two should be equal to minus 9. So clearly, using this, what we get here is two values, 9 can be split and then we can factor it. Perfect. So we get 2t square minus 10 times 1, right? So 10 will keep positive and plus 1, which is t itself, minus 5 equals to 0. And now we can take 2t common from the first two terms we get t minus 5 and we do have t minus 5 
in the other part of this equation. So, we can take t minus 5 as common and continue factoring process. t minus 5 is common for us. So, what we get here is 2t plus 1 equals to 0. Now, this gives you two solutions. One is when t minus 5 equals to 0, that means t is equal to 5. And the other one is when 2t plus 1 is equal to 0. In that case, t is equal to minus, you'll take 1 this side, divide by 2. So, these are the two solutions for your equation. So, let me write down our solutions. So, we have solutions here which are t equals to 5 and t equals to minus half. Now, let's look into the second part of the equation, which is this one, right? Now, you will observe that in this particular case, if I substitute x to the power of half as t, then t negative value cannot be taken into account. Since we know that square root x is always positive, right? So, remember this part that square root of x is greater than or equal to 0, correct? What I'm trying to sh show you here is that out of these two solutions which we have here, one is valid, this one, right? And the other one is not valid. And therefore, we'll only work with t equals to 5 and not t equals to minus half. So, let's go to the second equation and try to solve it. So, second equation here, we'll write, we are given the equation 2, x to the power of half equals to 9 plus 5, x to the power of minus half. So, we'll do the substitution and that is, we'll write x to the power of half as equal to t. And then, we get our equation as 2t equals to 9 plus 5t to the power of minus half. This is exactly similar to what we just solved, right? And therefore, we know that this has two solutions. One of the solution is that t is equals to 5 and the other solution is t equals to minus half. Now, if you look into the substitution, in that case, x is greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, t equals to minus half is not valid. Does it make sense to you? So, we have only one solution. So, only one solution. And that is that t should be equal to 5. Is that clear to you? So, solution of this equation is t equals to 5. That really means that we can now write x to the power of half, that is square root of x, as equal to 5. This is as good as, think like this, square root of x is equal to 5. Correct? So, what is x equals to? x will be 5 squared which is 25. So, that becomes our solution. Is that clear? So, our answer is x equals to 25. Perfect. So, that is the solution of the first equation. Now, let's look into the logarithmic equation. Now, this is also a very, very interesting question. Example 2 for us, it is it is given that log PQ Q equals to 10A and log P over Q square is equal to A. Find expression in terms of A for log P and log Q. So, basically, we are given two equations, right? So, we have two equations and we need to solve them. It's kind of simultaneous equations. So, let's rewrite these equations. So, we have the equation which is log of, which is to the base 
10 PQ Q equals to 10 A. So we can rewrite this as log of PQ plus log of Q equals to 10 A or 3 log of P plus log of Q equals to 10 A. Correct? So that is our first equation. Now let's write down the second equation which is given in the quotient form log of P over Q square equals to A. So applying our rules for logarithms we get log of P minus log of Q square equals to A which is log of P minus 2 log of Q equals to A. So we get two equations you see that now we can use elimination or substitution to solve. Well actually since we have this term minus 2 log Q here and plus log Q will times the second equation by 2. So we'll times this equation by 2 and write down and then we can use elimination method. So we get 6 log of P plus 2 log of Q equals to 20A. Right? So that we get. We'll call this as our equation number 1 and that as our equation number 2. Now to solve this what we can do is we can just add these two equations. So we'll add equation 1 with equation 2 in that process, log of Q term will get eliminated and what we get here is 6 log P, 6 log P and log P becomes 7 and on the other side 20 plus A is 21. So what we get here is 6 log P plus log P equals to 20a plus a. Is that clear to you, right? So that is what we get. And from here, we can actually solve for log. So we can rewrite this as 7 log p equals to, sorry, this was 20, right? 20 plus 1. This is actually 20a plus a. Right? So we get 21a and log p equals to 21a divided by 7 which gives us 3a. Right? So I hope that is absolutely clear. Anyway, let's take up a fresh page to rewrite this. So what we just found here was that we solve for log p and we got log p as equal to, let me rewrite, log p is equal to 3a, correct? Now we need to find q. So the equation which we could use to find q is one of these two. So I'm going to use the second equation. It looks simpler, which we derived from here. Perfect. So that is the equation which I am going to use to find the value of Q. So let's redo this. So we have here log of P over Q square. I am just redoing which is not required since it is on the other page. So it was written as log of P minus 2 log of Q equals to A. Now since we know that log of P is equals to 3A We'll substitute that here. So we get 3a minus 2 log of q equals to a or 2 log q equals to 3a minus a which is 2a. And clearly what we get here is log of q equals to 2a divided by 2 which is a. So we get our solution as log of q equals to a. Is that clear to you? 
So that is how we are going to solve these two equations. And we got our answer in terms of A, right? So that is what was required. So we need to write down expressions in terms of A, right? In terms of A, and that is what we have. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Again, a reminder to you that during this time, you could do a few good things. One, post your questions to us. We'll provide your solution. Second, you can also join our WhatsApp group. You can also check my website for more details. And whenever you have a question, send it as an email to me. The email address is given right there. We are always there to help you out. Thanks you, thank you, and thanks for the great support you are giving to us. Join the WhatsApp group, which is Free Math Solutions to provide help globally. Thank you, and all the best.